Hi everyone, my name is Kevin. Today I wanna to show you how you can give guests access to your Microsoft Teams. Now what is guest access? Well, let's say that maybe you work at a school or you work at an organization and you want partners, vendors, contractors to be able to access your Microsoft Teams. Maybe you want them to contribute in conversations. Maybe you want them to access a file. Uh, maybe you want them to join meetings. Whatever your reason, you can allow guests access to Microsoft Teams. By default, it's turned off and I'm gonna show you step-by-step -step how you could turn that on. To be able to do this, you need to be an admin so if you work in an organization and you want guests to have access but you're not an admin you're gonna have to talk to your admin to enable this but if your admin doesn't know how to do it you can share this video with them and it'll show step by step how you can do it all right well let's jump on the PC and first off I'll show you how to check whether uh, guest access is turned on and then if not how you can turn it on all right let's jump on the PC all right, here I am on my PC and I am in Microsoft Teams and the easiest way to check whether guest access is turned on or if it's turned off is to try adding a guest to one of your teams. So what I'm gonna do is just navigate up to this Mark 8 project team and I'm gonna click on the ellipses or the more options menu and I'm gonna go down to the option that says add member and click on that. So now I could type in an individual's name who is outside of my organization. So someone who's outside of my organization might have an email address like at outlook.com or at gmail.com. So let me go ahead and I'm gonna type in kevstrat2 at outlook.com. And in this case, I have the ability to add kevstrat2 at outlook.com as a guest because it's enabled for this tenant. Uh, however, if it's not enabled, you won't be able to select an external person's name and you won't be able to add it. So if you can't add it, how do you turn that on? Well, let me show you how you can go about doing that. And what we're gonna do is we need to open up a web browser and navigate to the website office.com. We're gonna go through office.com to get to the admin center where we could set this setting. So once you land on office.com, go ahead and click on sign in. You're gonna be prompted to sign in with your Microsoft admin account, go ahead and sign in. I've already done that. And once you sign in, you're gonna land on the authenticated page of office.com. And what we wanna do is there should be an app tile that says admin. Let's go ahead and click on admin. That'll open up another tab and it drops us in the Microsoft 365 admin center. Now this is a team setting that we wanna enable. And what we need to do is we need to get to the Teams Admin Center. And to do that over on the left-hand side, let's go ahead and click on Show All. And then if we scroll down, this has links to all of the different admin centers within the Microsoft 365 ecosystem. In this case, it's a team setting. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on Teams. This will open up yet another tab. And now I have all of my team settings here. And one of the categories that I'm interested in is org-wide settings. Let's click on that. And then the second option here says guest access. This is how I could give guests access uh, to Microsoft Teams. And now what you'll see here is uh, by giving guests access, uh, they get access to Teams, to channels. If you want a full list of what capabilities they get versus what they don't get. I've included a link in the description so you can see uh, what functionality guests will have. Now here I see allow guest access in Teams. Right now it's turned off and it's turned off by default. What I could do is I could go ahead and toggle that on. Once it toggles it on, I see a whole bunch of uh, sub settings related to this one. So what I could do is I could navigate through these and do I wanna give someone the ability to make private calls? Do I wanna allow them to meet now? So I could go through and I could either toggle on or off individual settings for guest members. In this case, I'm gonna simply turn on everything. So I give my guests the full control that a guest can get and then I'll go ahead and save it. Now, one of the downsides is once I make this change, you'll see here that it says, please allow a couple of hours for changes to take effect. So if you're an admin and maybe someone asked you to turn this on, uh, when you respond to them, you'll have to let them know that they're gonna have to wait a little bit before they could try adding a guest again, because it takes some time for this change to propagate.
So I'm gonna jump back into Microsoft Teams now and let me go ahead and add a member uh, outside of my organization. So let's say kevstrat2 at outlook.com. So I've now enabled the ability to add guests. I could just go ahead and add any email address in here and then I could add that person uh, to this team. And so now it's going ahead and it's adding this person. It looks like they've been added as a guest now and now I can go ahead and close this. One of the things that the guest member will get here, I'm gonna open up another browser and here I see that Microsoft Teams automatically sends out an email to the new guest member and it says that I've been added as a guest. It lets me know what the team is and it also gives me a path to access that team. So as a guest member, I have an easy path back into the Microsoft Teams. Uh, both the team and the channel. Here I also see what some of the different capabilities are that I get as a guest outlined in this email. Additionally, not only do I get an email telling me how to join Microsoft Teams, I also see that I joined the Mark 8 project team and I get an email for this as well. And I have some more details on how I can interact with the group as a guest. All right, well that was a quick overview of how you can enable guest access in Microsoft Teams. Now to enable guest access, you need to be an admin. If you're not an admin, just be friendly and talk to your admin and see if they can turn it on for you. If this video helped you learn how to turn on guest access, please give this video a thumbs up. If you wanna see more videos like this in the future, hit that subscribe button. That way you'll get a notification anytime new content like this comes out. And lastly, if you wanna see me cover any other topics in the future, leave a comment down below. I read them all and I'll add it to my list of videos to create. All right, well, that's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed and hope to see you next time. Bye.